This reaction video has been made family friendly. Hey guys and welcome. Just before we get into this one, um, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much. We're at 2,000, we're over 2,000 subscribers at this point. Um, and I could not be happier. Thank you guys so, so much. Everything just keeps growing and growing and I love it, right? Um, love you guys. Thank you so much. Um, so this one wasn't going to come out this early. I was going to hold on for a big milestone and the milestone has come and gone. So, uh, <laughs> so here is another Dimash video. Oh, Dimosh. Ah, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm a bit everywhere at the moment. Um, this is going to be coming out uh, on Monday evening. So right now it is currently, uh, it is currently, oh my God, it is Saturday. It's Saturday for me where I am and it'll be coming out Monday evening. I will be away uh, when this video goes up. So I will try to get into the live chat for the premiere, um, but I can't promise anything. I might, I might miss this one, um, but uh, either way, thank you so much for your support so far and your continued support. I sincerely, sincerely appreciate it, and I cannot wait to see you guys in the next one. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Vocal Coach Reacts. You've asked for it. Um, another Dimash or Dimosh uh, song. And I had to go with this one because, so I, years ago, back when I was in high school, would you believe that? And it was over 10 years ago now, 12 years ago now. I remember seeing a gentleman by the name of Vitas doing this doing this song and i know it i know the song it's super hard um and based upon the re the last reaction that i did and uh you know seeing the range that this gentleman has if anybody's going to be able to do it it's him right so without any further ado we're going to go into opera 2 now before we do uh like a favorite, subscribe, do all that sort of thing. It'd be really, really appreciated. Um, and, oh man. I suppose let's just get into it. Let's see how this goes. Got those in ear foldbacks again. <laughs> Ooh, lovely. Okay, so here's the thing, right? I love his tone. I think his tone is phenomenal. I think it's beautiful, right? I actually do prefer this so far to Vitas, which is, which is a big call because Vitas has got a phenomenal voice. Don't get me wrong. I... Just, there's something so, something so pure about it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it beyond like an emotional feel. I saw that cheeky look in his eyes too. He knows he's got them. He knows he's got that audience. He knows he's got them. Wow, man. You know, the only thing that that upsets me is the fact that I was completely expecting it to be flawless. And it was. <laughs> I wasn't surprised. I wasn't surprised anymore because I know what this guy can do. I've heard it. <laughs> like, oh my God, man. And the way, okay. So the two different parts of this song require two different techniques. Very, very different. One is more a classical based thing. One is more kind of uh, contemporary, although you can do it classically as well. But 
what I've noticed is that anybody that kind of uh, tends to do this song have the um that kind of separated uh stylistic choice between the uh, uh, I'm not doing I'm not going up that high. Could I maybe not right now? I'm not warm enough for that yet. Uh, that whole section is usually more operatic than the uh, the earlier kind of verse, and I I I guess maybe that's just a standard. Like I I, I don't know because again I don't I don't know the origins of this song, uh, what it's about, anything like that. Just the vocal. Um, I know that there's one hell of a key change coming, and I'm very excited for that. Let me just point out too, I'm just going to go back here. That slide up. That initial slide up, right, and and the same on the second time through. I just love that. You know, you've got to be on the, when you, when you're doing that sort of thing. You've got to make sure that you're hitting that note, that fir- that first initial note, because that is your springboard to getting right up there, right? If that foundation isn't there, then you're going to have a lot of trouble getting up to that point, right? He's got no issue. Dude's freakish. got nothing man like, come on come on man like there's nothing this dude can't do there's nothing he can't do it's ooh, ooh, interesting what he did there i kind of like what he did so that's a really cool effect what you can do is start a note with your mic out here right because with if that mic's that far out, it's not gonna hear you. Okay, that is a dynamic mic. They are like okay, so this that I have here is a condenser. So I could be over here and you're still gonna hear me. Yes, it's gonna be softer because I've got the volume turned down on it, but you can still hear me, right? Those sorts of dynamic mics, you've got to be like right up here before you're going to be heard. And that's a good thing because what you don't want in those microphones is the sound of the orchestra behind. You don't want that. You want just the vocalist that's right there. Um, and, uh, and whatnot. So what he actually did in order to get this really interesting kind of, not just slide, um, uh, melodically and, 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 uh, note wise, but slide volume wise, have a listen to that again. That was really cool. That these are all little tiny tips and tricks that people learn as they're going on. Right. That, you know, making your way into the professional world, these are the sorts of things you pick up, okay? That was, that was a pro move. That was, that was so cool. That was so cool. And there's reasons why you would do it too. Because in terms of a recording, right, you could do take after take after take after take after take. If that's the sound you wanted for that line, you could do take after take after take until you've got that right, right? On stage, you can't do that. So to make it easier for himself, He's sung at the same volume and he's done the swell with the microphone. That's incredible. That's really cool. And it just makes, um, you know, a lot of these tips and tricks, and I don't want this to sound as, the, as though it's like a, you know, some form of cheat that he's using. 
that's not the case at all. These are just really interesting little tidbits that make your life easier as a vocalist sometimes when you can do that and when you pick that up. Key change. Whoa! No, I'm done. No, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm not doing this anymore. No, what the hell, man? Wow. Okay. So first of all, when I uh, when I first heard this song, when Vitas did it, there were not two key changes. It was just the one. One big key change, and everyone was like, "Oh, that's amazing, right?" Because it is. It's an incredible key change. You're going up a whole tone, um, and just it's uh, it's killer to to hit that note, right? Dude shows him up. He does another one. And then adds that in there too. Like the way that you do that, right? The way that you can do that is you've got to cut off the air every time you go for that note. And in those, in that, in that sort of a range, that's so hard. That's so difficult to do. I couldn't do it. You know, I, uh, I've got a pretty good range, right? But there's no way that I'm getting into that pocket of the voice, not right now, not without, you know, quite a bit of, um, of practice and, you know, a determination to do it. And being able to do that sort of ornamentation. God, man. Wow. No! No, don't, no, no, stop. What, what, why? You've, you've already slayed everyone. Don't do this again. It's unnecessary. I understand, okay? When everybody in the comment section of the first video said you've only touched the surface, I get it. I understand. Wow. Okay, uh, I've, I've got to break this down now, and my brain is not working for that at all, okay? Here's the thing. When I mentioned earlier, when Vitas did it, there was one key change, right? One big key change. It was phenomenal. It was very cool, very impactful. When this gentleman did the second key change i thought oh you know that that's cool that's you know that's 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 a cool addition then he did a third it was completely unnecessary 
Am I happy he did it? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm not saying it was unnecessary to, like, bag it out by any means. That's not what I mean. He didn't need to do it, but he did it anyway. Wow. I've got no words for that beyond wow. Okay? I know Sopranos who struggle up there. I know people that live their life touring, doing Soprano work, who struggle to get into that spot. Man, I, this gentleman is absolutely phenomenal, and I will I will hear nothing else of it. If anybody in the comments tells me that they don't like him, you know, let let me know why. I'm curious to see why. If you don't like him, I don't understand why, but I, I'm happy to hear people out. You know, like my comments are always open for opinion, right? Unless it's obviously bullying or, you know, um, or, uh, you know, abusive, then, you know, I'll obviously, you know, do something about it. But a large part of why I started doing this, right, was to start breaking songs down for my students so that they could better. Uh, get into uh, listening and pull, pulling songs apart to understand the bare uh, pieces of what is happening with them, right? This channel is obviously developed to be something a lot more. And as of now and for the rest of my life, this channel will worship this man. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I. I love what he does. I, I love this. The, when the initial uh, comments saying, oh, you should, you should check this gentleman out came up, it was a very lengthy message saying this is the greatest vocalist that exists, right? And when somebody says that, you don't believe them, right? You're like, okay, you got a little bit of a bias, right? Everybody has their own preferences when it comes to vocal. I I don't want to say I agree because like voices being different, voices are so different, right? You can't say necessarily the one is better than another. But I also want to say that his voice is technically so pristine, right, that I can definitely see an argument for him being one of the best vocalists, if not the best vocalist, at least that, you know, is on the traps these days. Wow. I, just, I, I love it, man. I, I've got nothing more to say, and I'm rambling at this point, but all I want to say at this moment is thank you so much for watching like a favorite, subscribe to all that sort of thing. And I will see you in the next time. Uh, see you in the next time. Come on, Jim. I will see you in the next reaction. If you do have anything else for me to react to, let me know in the comments below. Um, you can also contact me now on, uh, on Twitter as well. I do have a twit. Uh, I have a twit. I have a Twitter account for Griever Productions. I'll put it here. I didn't realize I, I, I put this arm out, but it's, it's this arm. <laughs> I will put it here so that you can go and follow that. God, guys. I, I get it. I get it. I've only scratched the surface and I'm going to be listening to more for sure. All right. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.